Hey guys, it's Ken the Scientist, and today we are going to be reading another National Geographic book. It is called Wildcats by Elizabeth Carney. Okay. Meet the cats. Wildcats aren't like house cats. Most wildcats live in wild places. They're found all over the world. Scientists have counted 35 species of wild cats. Let's meet some. So, here's the lion. Okay, fur word, species, a group of related living things. Cats of the world. Some wild cats live in open grasslands. They're fast and powerful. They must be quick to chase animals across the grass. So here we can see an African wild cat a serval, and a cheetah. Wild cats also live in the jungles and forests. Some are good at climbing trees. Many jungle cats enjoy swimming. Sometimes they even catch fish. So here's a picture of a tiger swimming and then here are some jaguars. Okay, this is a question and answer. Why are cats good at video games? I have no idea. <laughs> because they have nine lives. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Okay. <laughs> Wild cats can be found in the cold too. They often live in snowy mountains. These cats have thick fur to keep them warm. Their wide paws act like snowshoes. So here is a snow leopard. I actually adopted a snow leopard at a zoo before. Only one type of wild cat makes its home in the desert. Meet the sand cat. It can live for months without drinking. It gets water from the food it eats. It's so cute. It looks like a house cat, but apparently it's a wild cat. I don't know. <laughs> sand cats eat bugs birds and apparently snakes because that's normal okay what is a cat's favorite song do you know i don't know i don't know either <laughs> three blind mice <laughs> my god they're so funny <laughs> i'm so weird okay a cat up close Wild cats live in many different habitats, but they have some things in common. Let's check out the body parts the cats have. So they have teeth are long and well, that teeth are long and sharp. A long tail helps most cats balance. The nose has powerful sense of smell. Ears can hear many sounds that human ears can't. Claws curve into sharp points. And whiskers help cats find their way in the dark. I never knew that. Fun facts. Seven cool facts about wild cats. Number one, all big cats roar. They do not purr the way other wild cats do. Two, cheetahs are the world's fastest land animal. They can reach 65 miles an hour in seconds. Three, big cats don't just roar. They also make a purr-like sound called a chuffle. It's their way to say hello. Hello to you too. <laughs> Four, many wild cats can catch animals that are more than twice their size. That's pretty cool. Five, rusty spotted cats are the smallest wild cats. They weigh about three pounds. Tigers are the biggest cats. They weigh up to 660 pounds. Mm. Six, sand cats have thick fur on their paws. It helps them walk in the sand without sinking. And seven, snow leopards are great leapers. They can jump as far as 20 feet. I can't even like walk 20 feet without being tired. And here are all the pictures. Okay. Build to hunt. All cats eat meat. 
wild cats must hunt for their food. They catch other animals. This is hard work. Many cats run fast to chase their prey. Others sneak up on it. So here is a picture of wild cats chasing, I think those are gazelles? Yeah. Okay. Can you spot the cat in this picture? It's not so easy. Wild cats are great at hiding. They don't want their prey to see them and run away. Wild cats use camouflage to blend in. Can you see the cat? In this picture? Okay. What game did the cat like to play with the mouse? I don't know. Catch. Caring for cubs. Wild cats give birth to cubs. Young cubs drink milk from their mothers. Mothers teach their cubs how to hunt. When the cats are old enough, they go off and live on their own. So here is um, some a mother tiger and a baby tiger, and then I think that's a cougar. A cougar? Yeah, cougar. Okay. Wild cats and people. Sometimes people move onto lands where wild cats live. This causes problems. The cats have less space to live and hunt in the wild. They might hunt people's farms, animals instead. The people want to protect their animals. Well, I mean, it's not really fair if you're basically invading their territory. Okay. Helping hands. Some people are studying wild cats. This helps them learn how to protect the cats. Others are working on how to keep cats' habitat safe. We can work together to share this worldwide with cats. Okay, so this is some words that we have seen in the book. One, camouflage, an animal's color or pattern that helps it hide from other animals. Two, habitat, an animal's natural home. Three, prey, an animal that is eaten by other animal. And four, species, a group of related living things. Thank you guys so much for watching me read Wild Cats by Elizabeth Carney. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.